Hi guys. Uh, tonight I'm gonna just explain to you that uh, you hear my voice, you see my appearance, you hear my thought, or you uh, see my thoughts on a visual aid, and you can you can predict what I'm gonna do before I do it by uh, by a few different resources. But there's one thing you haven't found yet. How I feel inside. What my body feels like. What I actually feel, my emotions, my emotional intelligence. And without those feelings, you can't define my... You can't define me. can't define what I am or how I am. All you can do is make up silly little statements stating what you see yourself as. All these people so define themselves forever because they were too blind to see they were only seeing a reflector. They were reflecting themselves. That's what they do when you comment on someone else. You're reflecting yourself. What you are. That's it. To really understand someone, you have to feel them. You have to feel how they feel. That means you have to know how the warm feeling. That, uh, like when you look at the sun on a warm day and it's just bursting out at you. Like uh, uh, that that tingly feeling sometimes you get when you just want to stand up and, and feel rooted to the ground and feel all the life and all the power behind you. And that's something we so often overlook because it's something beyond all the pain someone can give you from all the pain you put on yourself because of things you don't understand there is this overwhelming feeling this rite of spring this warmth hidden inside of you that just wants to let go and that warmth is something I, I can't always show in words, appearance, or in actions. But there is something there. And if you're able to just touch on that, you'd see that it's not necessarily a big thing or a small thing. It's heat. It's heat. That's all I am right now. I feel heat. And that's what I feel like all the time. That's why I do what I can. Because I feel this heat. And it's the heat inside that really warms when it, when it pours down you. Yeah. So, I just know when, when you feel like giving up, you have to go to that deeper place, that warmer place, because you're not alone. You'll never be alone. And that is why I'm here, to show you that we are more, that there is such a thing as giving ourselves full trust in the events of being one with the peace of mind that comes with this warmth and that's what I'm experiencing now a warmth 
but I've always had it. I've had the tingles when I was young, just I could control them. Then I, I could control all the good positive feelings I had, but I, I was still immature. And now you have a feeling that um, no matter what comes, you're ready to face it. And you're ready to move on to whatever comes next. And that's that warm feeling. I hope you get to experience it someday. Because it's that warm feeling that makes everyone really want to live. So thank you. And bless you by thinking about this because as children if we could know and feel how we each feel on the un inside wouldn't we get along a bit more or wouldn't we be shocked at why we're sad or why we're happy why we have these feelings so torn up because when it comes down to it we have a warm feeling. That's where we have to go. We have to see that what we feel is something. How our body feels to be here, to be in this moment. And that's why meditation is so important. Because it trains you in some ways. And so So I'm saying we must overcome our hatred and with that i just like to say thank you. Thank you so much.